Hi Aquarius, welcome to your past life reading for couples. Now, let's take a look if you're all within the right track. What are your karmic debts? Who is your soulmate? And uh, what are the things that you still have to learn from the past? This is the uh, life after the retrograde special forecast. Let's take a look. Well, you were a tradesman of ammunition in the, during the war. And I feel like this was during the, uh, you know, uh, tr this was during the uh, Civil War. And I feel like you're one of the alchemists and uh, you... You know, you sell ammunitions or explosives for a living. Even though at that point you uh, you were born as a crippled person, okay, in your per in your first life, and uh, when the uh, you know when the uh, let's say for example the uh, the people or the group that you're uh, that you've been supplying ammunitions for has been um you know um has been like uh retreated from the war they were defeated in a war the enemy of uh the enemy of your country or the enemy of this uh, people have nabbed you and put you into prison because you don't want to side on them after a while they have tried to bribe you and uh, you have agreed to you know you have agreed to um create ammunitions for them um, in exchange for your freedom now right before that happened they made sure that you will be keeping your side of the bargain and you were given your own laboratory while your feet is chained or while your yeah while your other feet is chained in a like a, it's very long so that you can move around the laboratory and uh, you have spent two years in that laboratory so that you can free yourself up you don't even know what already happened to your family but then your um, your wife have already passed away and your uh, your child is being cared by another person which is I feel like your neighbor and because of this you know because you never really um, listen to your wife you, you never really listen to your spouse and that is why you got into trouble Right after this, um, after three years of um, setting your sample and giving them, you know, whatever they need, they have tried to set you free only for a little while. And you have decided to settle in a very far away place and to, you know, um, bought your own farm with the money that they have given you. <coughs> and you've always uh, wondered how it is to have a father because you grew up having some... You know, having some disturbed childhood or having some emptiness right inside, right inside of you. And you don't even know how to be a father to your child as well. Now, there are some lessons and blessings in your in your past life. Which is, even if there are some ups and downs and uh, topsy-turvy stuff that's been um, happening in your life. You always turn it around and you always um, straighten up your path. <clears throat> And you always find the, um, you know, a, lo a solution to all of your problems. And you just decided to leave the alchemy and uh, just um, embark on a new journey. Or, um, like, uh, decided to do another craft. You're a highly gifted person and you are, uh, you know, you uh, possess a great art of wisdom. And everything that you have been doing, it is also guided and it is meant to be. Until that you um, you became famous for something that you've been doing. Or for something more of your uh, carvings, you know, in the Eastern Europe. And because of this, you got married to someone that you had two children with. Okay? So the first stages of your life, it's like you are full of mistakes 
and you're full of impetuousness even though you're very clever you're very you have a very inventive mind and you have a very you know rich in ideas and uh, you're very good in working with your hands but then even though you are very good with whatever you do you're very loyal to the people that you serve to and this is what also always gets you into trouble now in each and every craft or in each and every land or let's say for example platform that you went into people always wanted you because you're very you're unique okay your talents and skills it's like that is what they really need but then afterwards that you will say no to this people because you only want to serve one and uh, one let's say tribe or group or ethnicity or language or whatever it is or race and then you say no to others that is you know how it gets you into trouble so you need to be a little bit more open-minded and you need to be you need to learn a little bit more you know like play the politics so that it won't get you into trouble because people would want whatever you possess and the you know whatever skills you have because uh, it is something that they don't really see in their everyday lives okay now your first wife which is the child of your first sorry which is the the mother of your first child she died because she was murdered by your um you know the people who nabbed you or the people who incarcerated you or thrown you into imprisonment and then the second one is the uh you know the mother of your two kids but she was very mean to your second child and because of your you know because you're too preoccupied as always you never paid attention to your first child since it, you don't know how to be a father and since that you've always had some problems being um you know the uh the father of the house or the father of your um of your family and you always leave everything all the responsibilities to your to your second wife that's why when she gets tired because your other because your first child is um, a very difficult child you know she he is very um, hard-headed so she was mean to him and she never treated him like his own like her own child and instead of sleeping in the bedroom or sleeping inside the house she always throw them outside with the donkeys okay or with the animals and you never know about this until that when you came home and your child gets sick because of the um, you know illnesses or sorry because of the ailment that she, that he got from the uh, from the animals and that is the only time that this uh, that your son has been living or having some quarters um, with the animals so in this lifetime you will always have some problems being a good husband and a good um, you know and a good father and it's also because of your own issues you're great you're you're very inquisitive and you're very intelligent you know you're full of wisdom but then you don't know how it is to share your life and to even care for other people you always shut people out because of your own personal issues or your own childhood issues and when your child or when your son died in the cold you know during the time that uh, he was so sick you you know it's already too late for you to resent and it's already too late for you to you know to ask for forgiveness that's why you always feel so guilty and uh, you know it's like you always feel so lost about being a parent and uh, you know being on your own because deep inside of you you know that something is missing and something feels like it's not right or that you have some arrested development you know from your childhood and uh, you're having a hard time coping up with it you want to ask for help but you don't know how to and while you know with your second wife she was so mean and I feel like during at this time you know in this lifetime if you're married to a narcissist then this is your other soulmate okay your karmic soulmate and i feel like she's been uh, you know she's also very selfish and like your other and like your first wife so you have tried to to stay right after your son had died but then you can't really accept it to yourself so you keep on wandering off and you 
You know, you keep on traveling and traveling to go and search for something that you feel like is missing in your life. And then right after five years, you went back full bearded and you look so old, you know, because of your traveling and because that you've been like uh, wandering off and uh, wandering off by foot. And then you just uh, came home one day that your wife has, is already with someone. So because of this, you know, you were... Uh, you have decided to just settle down in a cave and uh, or outside or near the nature and i feel like this is the reason why you're so afraid to trust and you're so afraid of being with someone else it's it's not like about other people but it's about you you know that you keep on self-sabotaging and you don't know how to fix yourself you don't know how to rearrange yourself and you don't know how to um put a solution to your own problems and even though there are some other people who's uh, who comes your way and uh, <clears throat> and who wants to help you and if you're married to one okay your first wife is a pisces or a water sign or cancer and then your second wife is an air sign or a fire sign okay and you will always find her a little bit uh, Sometimes indignant and uh, cruel and uh, discriminating as well. So your main lesson in this lifetime is that don't just run away and try to be a little bit more open-minded so that you won't be, you know, you have to learn how to play the politics. You can't always stick around with your principles because, you know, in this business or in a business, you need to be a little bit more open to negotiation okay and if you were sticking around with your loyalty then ask yourself if they are really worthy of your loyalty otherwise you also need to think about yourself okay it's not just about your principles it's not just about your pride sometimes you also know how to escape and sometimes you also know how to think about yourself because sometimes because sometimes um your pride or your loyalty cannot really save you. Well, that is only you when it comes to your business and uh, when it comes to your personal relation to other people. And that will also, you know, cause your loved ones to suffer and even die from it. And in your second, uh, you know, in your second lesson, it's like you have to learn how to defend those people who is powerless and those people who needs your protection instead of just leaving them in the hands of cruel people or in the people that you thought can be trusted but unfortunately they also need your attention and th this is where you have failed okay that you thought that there are some people who comes to you sweet and endearing and they're very, you know, <clears throat> they look like they're they're very promising, but little did you know that the uh, the sugar coating that they are doing is already a red flag sign. Okay, so don't repeat the same mistakes again. And in this lifetime, you need to be a little bit more, you know, like lower down your barriers. And whenever that there are some issues in hand, or if there are some personal issues that you are currently dealing with, you need to know how to ask for help. So that you'll be so that you can uh, have a solution you're very you know you're very intelligent you're smart but you don't know how to put a solution to your own problem because of your own pride okay so anyway that's it for you for this retrograde aquarius and if you want to talk to me live on the phone or live at the calls or if you want to have your own reading like this just go and visit me at my website at sophieangel.net blessings to you